Hi, it's Rose Parr from HealthyQuilting.com and today I'm going to show you one of my favorite stretches for a quilter sewist. So let's get up from your table, if able. If not, you can do this from your chair. If you're going to do it from your chair, you're going to warm up with shaking your hands and stomping your feet. Maybe some ankle circles. If you're standing, you're just going to do whatever it takes to get some blood flowing through your body. So you're going to take your fingers, you're going to interlace them like this. Then you're going to turn so palms are facing out. Now you're going to feel a nice stretch down your forearm, into your wrist, less pressure on the backs of your hands as some stretches can, can lead to. From here, we're going to raise up. So we're going to come up and if this is as far as you go, that's fine. If you've got shoulder impingement, if you've got anything going on, stop right there. You can still do your side stretches from here. If you're able, you're going to come all the way up. You're going to stop on top of your head, never behind. Even a little bit in front is okay. Now from here, we're gonna to stretch towards the right and we're gonna hold for about 20 seconds. So let's go. So you're gonna to go to your right and then you're going to hold, you're going to breathe. You're not gonna hold your breath. If you find that you are someone that holds your breath, you can be talking, you can be singing, you can be doing whatever. And so now we're at four, three, two, one. And we're back to the top. From here, we're gonna do the other side. So let's come over. We've got 20 seconds here. When this is done, you're gonna get a drink. You're gonna get something to eat. You're gonna shake yourselves out again so you're nice and loosened up. Okay, so we're at five, four, three, two, one. And from here, we're gonna shake. We're gonna move, roll your shoulders, get that drink, and you can get back to your sewing machine.